So all of light together is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Let me just end by giving you a brief overall summary of light. So here's light, white light. We're sending it through a slit and then into a prism. The prism, as you know, prisms do. They disperse light into the various colors. The colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. The only difference here is the difference in wavelength or the difference in frequency. You can view it either way. As you go from red to violet, and you can go more violet than the human eye can see. And that gives you ultraviolet. And ultraviolet is, well, it's a higher frequency, which means a higher what? Energy. And you know that because visible light doesn't give you a sunburn, but ultraviolet can give you a sunburn. You go to even higher frequencies, higher energies, you have x-rays. That's energetic enough to go through your skin, but not through your bones. Yeah, and so the doctors use that to take pictures of broken bones. You go more energetic than that, you have gamma rays. And there's no good, real good example of gamma rays in everyday life, except maybe, well, the Incredible Hulk, I guess. That's the highest frequency, highest energy. Going on the other side, redder than red that the eye can see is infrared. And that's um, kind of, that's associated with what? Heat, warmth. We're all emitting infrared right now. If I put on infrared goggles, you'd all be glowing. And if you keep going beyond that, you go through the microwaves, it's not listed here, into the radio. So the radio waves you hear in the car, the gamma rays that come out of uh, nuclear processes, it's all light. The point is, all these terms are really equivalent. Waves, as in radio waves, light as in visible light, rays as in gamma rays, uh, also radiation. They can all mean the same thing. Some of these terms are kind of wavelength specific. Radio, we call those waves. Gamma rays are called rays or gamma ray radiation. Uh, but all of it is light, and I tend to just use the term light for all these different categories. You'll hear me talk about radio light, gamma ray light. So get used to that version of it. Most people, when you hear light, you just think about visible light, maybe infrared and ultraviolet light. But really, it's all light, and I'll refer to all of it as light. Okay, and light, we just established, at least travels as a wave. So all the wave equations hold true. We had one wavelength. Let's actually revisit the two equations we put out there. We had. Um, the energy of the wave is proportional to the frequency. So with light, that's E equals Planck's constant. This is the Greek letter nu. Which is the symbol for frequency. You might see it in the text or in the homework, so let me put it up here. This is how we write frequency, the curve EB. E is energy. The constant proportionality is Planck's constant. It has a particular value, but again, you won't need the value in this course. I might say if a wave has twice the frequency as another wave, it has what times the energy? Twice the energy, that's right. And then the other equation we had up for wave properties is wavelength times frequency equals wave speed. And so with light, that's lambda. Lambda means wavelength times frequency is the speed of this wave. And light travels at a particular speed, and we use the symbol. Which symbol? C. So, two equations here, light specific. All light waves travel at the same speed. That's something that comes from a number of different sources, but one of which is Einstein's theory of special relativity, which we'll do in 102. We'll talk about the evidence for that there. But now you can just accept it. So, for light, that since that's a constant, all different types of light travel at the same speed. You can solve it for one or the other. Lambda is C over nu, or nu is C over lambda. In other words, if you know one, you can calculate the other. So we can talk about frequencies of light, we can talk about wavelengths of light. They're equivalent.
different ways of saying the same thing. Okay, we'll pick up here next time. Enjoy the game tonight.